It can't be true. Mother, is that you? I just heard you're about to marry Adam Chandler. Well, news travels fast. And ill winds blow it faster. Mother, I don't need advice on love and romance. Darling, Adam Chandler is a nasty, a controlling egomaniac. And I applaud your choice. You do? Yes, I do. I mean, marry for love, you end up with a broken heart. Marry for money, you end up with a fabulous house on the vineyard. <laughs> I'm not marrying Adam for his money. Liza, this is your mother, darling. You're in love with Tad Martin. You always have been, and you always will be. Tad is a powerful magnet, darling, and you are steel. Mother, I broke your genetic mold. I don't chase dead horses. Darling, you've been in love with Tad Martin since you were 17 years old. I'm not having this conversation with you. Not that I'm disapproving. I mean, you lost your heart, but you kept your head. Being married to Adam Chandler for even five minutes, darling, can reap huge rewards. And by the way, when do I get my invitation? Don't hold your breath. We haven't set a date. Well, don't delay. The women waiting in line to be Pine Valley's first lady is endless. You know, we should go on to even stranger subjects. When are you coming home? When my mission is accomplished. Mother, would you just please wave the white flag? It's all over. Except the sweet taste of revenge. I'm going to dice up Jonathan's liver for sleeping with Janet Green. You're too late. No, I'm not, darling. He can run. But sooner or later, I'm going to catch up with that scum-sucking parasite. Mother, he's dead. Well, of course he's dead, darling. And I'm going to make him dread the day that he was ever born. No. No, I mean he's dead. As in stone-cold dead. I, I, I can't believe you haven't heard. Jonathan Kinder was killed. Right here in Pine Valley. Liza, Jonathan can't be dead. Deader than a doornail. Liza, how can you be so callous? Mother, how can you be so pathetic? Here, I've been accusing him of sleeping with Janet Green. Well, it's not beneath him. Janet did it, didn't she? Janet killed him. Erica Kane confessed. She's already been arraigned. Erica? Well, she and Janet are as thick as thieves. Oh, my God, my poor Jonathan. No, Liza, we were going to be so happy together. We were going to start a new life together. Come home, Mother. I can't. I sold the house. The house? You mean to tell me he drained you of everything? Liza, I would have given him the moon. Mother! He, he's using you. No, he loved me. He made me feel like a girl again. Oh, oh, okay, please. You know what, Mother? He robbed you blind. I mean, when we get back, can we just try to please figure this thing out? You know, darling, there's nothing for me to come home to. All right, look, it's up to you, all right? If you want to just stay where you are, then stay where you are. Where are you? I'm, uh, I'm St. Justin, the Beachcomber Hotel. Oh. Well, why don't you just hang out there? You know, divorcees come along every 15 minutes. Liza, I really need time to mourn this. What's a proposal go for these days, Mother? 10, 20,000? Why don't you tell me? Touche. I will not have you desecrate his memory, okay? Mother, how could you not know that Kinder's dead, but you knew about me and Adam? I ran into, uh, Enid Nelson. On St. Justin? Yes, yeah, she's vacationing here. <laughs> And, and, and Enid, Enid forgot the grisly details of Kinder? You know, Liza, you will never know what it's like to have loved and have lost. Because you're not capable of loving yourself. Goodbye, Mother. Let me know when you've set a date. Better yet, I'll tell Enid. Goodbye, Mother. Poor darling. 
we were going to be so happy together. I love you, Jonathan. And I will always love you. Ah, uh, I'm, I'm coming. I'll be right there. Marion, it's me. Marion. Jonathan. Oh, thank God you're all right. What they told me. Liza said. I'm dead. Yes, the perfect cover. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I'm finally here with you. Oh, my love. Well, I am thankful for our relationship. Which is what, exactly? I think whatever we are is just right for us. Kind of like this place. It's very safe, it's warm, it's secure, even in November. Not too safe. What's wrong with safe? What's wrong with safe is it doesn't exist. And we both know it. It's an illusion. You think Liza is spreading the word about us? No. I think she's too busy planning the wedding of the century. the dress code? Renee brought a couple of gowns by. You're beautiful. Well, you're not exactly me. Just sort of some fantasy left over from the third grade. I, I thought maybe just a simple wedding suit. You could wear a burlap sack. You'd still be a gorgeous bride. Thank you. You know, I got this nagging voice in my head, just let out an ear-piercing scream. I didn't hear anything. Well, then maybe I should repeat it. It said, I love you, Liza Colby. And I have for a long time. Marrying Adam is a mistake. We both know it. You can't do it. I'm begging you, please, don't marry him. Money for the two of us to live comfortably for a long time. My love, I don't deserve you. Oh, darling, please don't say that. I love you so much. It's been such a long time, darling. Kiss me, please. <laughs> oh, oh, take me back. You know, when that lab is up and running, we're going to be rich. And I'm going to give you the world. Oh, darling, I've got everything I need right here in your arms. Uh, no, 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 Marion, you know, I think we should keep moving. It's not safe here at all. So let me make the travel plans for the both of us, okay? All right, darling, but be careful, please. I will, I will, and I will take care of you. And from now on, I will take care of everything. Mm. Hurry back, darling, all right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just hurry back. <laughs> Marcello, where have you been?
you been, you naughty boy? Mm, 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 mm. Mm. I have been making sure mm. that you and I live happily ever after. Mm. Now, dear, it mm. won't be long now because everything is falling into place. Oh, sorry I'm late. It was your idea to meet the jeweler here. Yeah, where is he? He's closing up the store. Uh, look, why don't we meet him there? Because I don't want to be the intruder's next cover story. He's probably on his way. I have a life, Liza. Well, I'm sorry to get in the way of it. My mother got in the way of mine. Oh, really? Where is she hiding out these days? The distant tropics, Club Robinson Caruso. Oh, goodbye to everything and everyone. Eh? Mm, if only. Enid must be a cutting-edge viewer. She filled my mother in on our engagement. Oh, how is the mother of the bride-to-be? <laughs> Ecstatic? She registered mild surprise. Mild surprise? Marion? She's far more interested in Jonathan Kinder. The late Jonathan Kinder. I didn't know real estate could be so, so sexy. Now, every time I see a for sale sign, I get the shivers. Next stop, Buenos Aires. Let me stick around and be your gal Friday. Oh, no, now your beauty is just what distract the two of us. Oh. Look at you. <laughs> oh, you better. Oh, I promise you. Ciao, <laughs> oh. ciao. Mm. Ciao, ciao. Hello, darling. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> and guess what I am doing. Oh, well, having the time of your life? No, I'm liquidating. By tomorrow morning, we're going to have an enormous nest egg in the bank of St. Justin. Well, let me get in touch with my people in South America, no, then. No, darling, and lose this romantic setting. It's too late for business. But it's a perfect time for love. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Alistair, you must travel by armored car. These jewels don't usually leave the vault. Mm. Thank you for being so accommodating. Mm. Well, you could see those stones two blocks away. <laughs> yeah, not their imperfections, though. Imperfections? That one. A mere raisin. Yes, it's small, but juicy. Mm -hmm. It's cute. You could do better. I'll stop by tomorrow. Excellent. Diamonds are so mundane. Turquoise is my birthstone. Well, perhaps we should have flown to Santa Fe. No, I suppose they do make a statement loud and clear. Whatever happened to your lust for a ten-carat sparkler? You're just going to hawk it anyway. You make me sound like some floozy grifter. Well, if the ring fits. Hypocrite. <laughs> What's gotten into you, Liza? I can't. You know, you, you, you are, are, are so amazing at this fake wedding thing. I mean, you know, excuse me if I find some of the trappings, I don't know, affecting. Well, if you're going to insist on method acting, maybe I should get an understudy for the role. Meaning what? Meaning just go through the motions, Liza. This isn't a solemn ritual, it's a stunt. <sighs> well, let me give you a piece of advice. Maybe you should keep that big fat smirk off your face on the big day. Believability is key. Well, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sometimes we have to do distasteful things to get what we want. Look, Adam, I'm doing you a favor. A favor? Really? How selfless. How sentimental. How penurious. What are you trying to pull? I can't, we can't pull this off. I can't pull this off. I mean, you know, talk about a diamond in the rough. Look at my hands. Just look at these hands. They are ravaged by November sweeps. I have paper cuts, I have hangnails. I mean, look at them. Go ahead, laugh, look. I'm looking. You wear it well. And someday, your true prince will fit into your schedule. <laughs> Spoken like the big bad wolf. Thank you. Keep me company. Uh, Lucretia's made lobster salad. Oh, I really should go to work. Uh, mm. We moved up the show in the amusement park safety, so... No, no, no. Push it back, Liza. Lobster. Mm. Lobster. Come on.
Well, you don't need that to scare off would-be suitors. No, it's real. I'm engaged. <laughs> Who's the lucky guy? Oh, no, I'm a lucky one. He's fascinating. He's handsome. And I won't have to change my monogram. Your father has exquisite taste, doesn't he? Daddy? Bye-bye.